Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 30th of January 2018. Just read an interesting article on Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm going to give you the highlights. I'll attach the link. Uh, Wayne Allen Root is the uh, publisher. Commentary. FBI went to great lengths to plot against Donald Trump. Well, it wasn't just the FBI. Come on, folks. It was the CIA. It was the FBI. It was the IRS. You name it. Every one of those departments that were corrupted by Barack Hussein Obama. Wayne Allen Root wrote, I'd like to write more about the booming Trump economy, about bonuses for two million workers and bigger paychecks for 90% of taxpayers, thanks to the Trump tax cuts, and about Trump's triumphant appearance at DeVoe, telling the entire world that America is now open for business. But there is much more important news involving the exploding FBI Department of Justice scandal and the shocking about-to-be world-famous FISA memo. Many of the FBI DOJ leadership will be fired or forced to resign. Many others might wind up serving prison time. I sure as hell hope so. McCabe being one of them. James Comey being another one. Robert Mueller being another one as well. The scandal involving texts from FBI investigator Peter Stroke and his lover, FBI attorney Lisa Page, is so deadly it goes far beyond the wildest imagination of anything in a Hollywood movie. FBI agents openly text about how Hillary was about to win the presidency, and no one wanted to be on her bad side. Page text to the lead Hillary investigation. Her lover, that's Peter Strokes. She might be our next president. The last thing you need, us going in there loaded for bear. You think she's going to remember or care that it was more DOJ than FBI? So, the intimidated FBI agent rigged the investigation, asked her softball questions, didn't record her interview, didn't put her under oath, and then changed the word of the conclusion from grossly negligent to extremely careless. Again, please, Google both of those, because they mean the exact same thing. These dumb FBI agents weren't even aware of that, nor was James Comey or Robert Mueller. Here's how bad the story gets. Even the crooked FBI agents out to fix the investigation against Hillary believed and recommended that FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe could not possibly be in charge of the probe after his wife took $700,000 donations from Terry McAuliffe. He's another one that needs to get investigated and go to prison that Clinton's great friend and financial bagman for decades. It's clear top FBI leadership hated Donald Trump, used fraudulent pretenses, a fake yasse paid for by Hillary in her campaign, to get FISA warrants against Trump, and were out to stop Trump at all costs. As I've warned from day one, the main purpose of obtaining illegal wiretaps to spy on the Trump campaign was to pass along his campaign plans to Hillary and her team. This was how the FBI leadership tried to guarantee an election victory for Hillary. It wasn't just the FBI, it was the DOJ as well. Loretta Lynch, huh? It's also clear top FBI brass informed a, quote, secret society, end of quote, with the sole goal of destroying the newly elected Trump, a congressman, has spilled the beans that a secret society didn't include just FBI agents, it included federal judges, federal prosecutors, and at least one attorney general of a large state. It's clear this secret society met off-site to plot against the President of the United States. These rogue plotters used burned phones because they were so afraid their plot could be uncovered. Burner phones is the FBI or the Cambodian cocaine cartel, question mark. 
We have no idea how bad this gets. The FBI suddenly claimed 50,000 texts from Stroke and Page were gone. Missing disappeared. Two days later, the DOJ Inspector General announced he found them. Of course he did. FBI forensic experts find missing texts from bad guys every day. That means the FBI was purposely trying to hide those 50,000 texts. Can you imagine what's in them? Well, I hope we find out. And as I said, planning the demise of our president, well, if that isn't treason, what the hell is, huh? Round them up. Ship them off to Guantanamo. That's where they all belong. You know, it's got to really piss off Andrew McCabe. What, he's a month and a half away from his lucrative retirement pension? Now he's going to be headed to a federal prison where he belongs, along with his co-conspirators. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. I've given you most of the highlights. Thanks for listening. You want to pass this one along and repost it in all your social media outlets? Thanks again.